So, our monthly event has returned to a new place. Yes, it is now Apex Thursday. Our, we our old monthly event has just become the new weekly event. So, why don't we have a look at it? I'm Admiral Pegasus. This is Star Trek Fleet Command. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So yes, Apex has returned in the form of getting the crew back together where Mud, the skinny Mud and Eurydice finally come back with the Stella and bring it all new. So what we can see here is the um, the drop thing that sometimes appears at the beginning of the game when you first load in, if you're actually lucky to actually get them, <laughs> the way they drop anyway. And... Um, as you can see, we've got a D4, we've got the Enterprise, we've got the Augur, we've got the Opius Grande, and we've also got the Simulated Stella. Yes, these are all the new skins that have been introduced into this new weekly event. Yes, the old event has come back anew, but unfortunately, as a little disclaimer, yeah, just that little bit down there, all the new refits, like the Stella... <laughs> assimilated Stella are now available for T9 Stella owners. So yes, you must actually max out a Stella. Now, what will happen if you don't have a T9 Stella? Well, I presume it's still going to be there because obviously on the system, you've actually been a T9 Stella. So, um, but obviously once you end up with the skins, yeah. That particular skin will disappear. So that Opius Glande one over there, Nick mm -hmm. of the um, Enterprises Port Bow. Yeah, I haven't got that available to me. But the rest over there. But anyway, let's take a look. So let's jump into game and actually have a look at everything that we've got, including that new currency over there. Okay, so if we actually start with the event store, as you can see, clear the coast has come up. So that's going to be perfect synergy at absolutely for what we're going to need for today so hopefully that kind of synergy does actually carry on join the battle month arc um there is also another event to seek and destroy basically a hostile hunt but that's not what we're here for no we are here for this now i know i did say that it'll be a flip between a video or a live stream it's going to be a video because to be perfectly honest right there's not even that much to say but i guarantee i'll find some way to make it last nearly an hour <laughs> Nah, not really. But anyway, as you can see, uh, uh, right behind me to begin with, I haven't even scored yet, is an SLB. And if we ever take a look at the SLB, basically, it's destroying the murders, destroying something with the Stella, um, directives and officers and outlaw officers. Now, how this one's going to work exactly, I'm not quite sure, because the scoring in this one is obviously gain rare or epic outlaw shards, and then upgrade um, uh, level up the rare or epic of um, outlaw officers. So, yeah, that's a bonus. And then obviously, if you come into here, the outlaw officers, well, you're going to earn more points for recruiting the rare or epics, and then you've got points for promoting them. Now, obviously, the points is going to be um, a different way around this one. Um, as you can see, they're actually giving you points for the specific rank. So this is going to start with like a tier 2. Topping out at the tier 5. And obviously it's between the rares and the epic. So watch out for them. Um, now also in this. Obviously because it is a leaderboard. We're going to be getting the new currency. Which is the new contraband chips. These are actually going to be replacing the. Lovely and absolutely infamous Zeta tokens. Because they are going to be phased out. So if you currently have any. Make sure you spend them. Do not sit on them. Spend, spend, spend. Yes, this was the name of the game this week is. It's about spending all those old currencies to get rid. But as well, you're also going to get some out, outlaw research credits. 3,000. But it is a weekly thing. So that's a bonus. So now this leaderboard is um, this week is a 50 deep. I hope it's going to remain that way. 
yeah, it should do, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, I will end up on the leaderboard because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the point scoring actually in effect by smacking the 40 hostile and doing an Amada. The Amada bit it will be edited, so do not worry. You're not going to have to sit there for a full seven minutes watching it. But anyway, so hitting the hostiles then. As you can see, if you remember from the monthly event, we was having destroyed bounty hunters, augment hostiles. Was that augment? Ho yeah, augment hostiles. <coughs> Which is basically anything in that yellow section of space to the left of um, Cleon space. So anywhere there, and then eclipse hostiles as well. Go and destroy them. Now, originally it was point. It was damage based points. No more. As you can see, to hit a level 40, it's now going to cost you, uh, gain you 6,100 points. The level 27s are only going to be 210. Now, my top target obviously is going to be 213 and a half thousand. So that's a fair few kills for me. That's what about, um, off the top of my head, 60, 180, 240. 240 is, is going to be around about 40 points, is going to be around about 40 kills. So we'll probably say around about 30, 35 kills, give or take. I'm not going to do all that. But as well, there's also the box for the um, tearing up of the hijack ships, building them, and then defeating hostiles with the hijack ships or defeating hostiles with the Stella. So again, that's just going to be some extra bonus points added on top. Now, we've also got the um, rogue trophies, which is what we originally had <coughs> in... Um, join a the Apex events. They're sticking around, and also sticking around is going to be your rogue reputation. By the looks of it, you're going to be getting nine on each milestone in here. So that's what 180. That's um, 360. Not exactly big figures, but a hey, never mind. And obviously the heist token is also sticking around as well because we're going to be needing them. And now instead of just having the two chests that they can do with, then they're going to have three chests. But we will look at that in just a moment. So next up on the events is the um, rogue um, event. This is the one where you destroy the Amada. So as you can see, destroy Eclipse Amadas. And you, I'm in the way again. And also you get, as you can see, you get points for all the different Amadas. If you're able to take on that big level 45 Amada, 11,250 points. So basically one of them and another Amada and you can complete this event. Now I know for a fact that I could take on um, a few of these. I'm going to end up needing to run a few Amadas just to actually complete this event. Whereas before I could hit a level 37 epic and I would complete the event in one go. Yeah, no more. But... There is spend the directives. So there's an extra way of sourcing that. I mean, the uncommons, you're looking at um, what, 500 points for that one. The epic eclipse directives, you're looking at five times that's uh, three times that. So you're looking at what, five, uh, 1,500 points. So I start an epic and I'll get the 1,500, send the 37, uh, which is 5,500 here. So I'm looking at about six, 7,000 points to do that. So two level 37 epics and I am golden and I would have completed it. As well, you also get some bonus points as well for destroying using the Stella. Because you can actually kill some of these with your normal ships. Now, the downside to normal ships, and I did actually run a test with this one with my Valdor. My Valdor, quite easily on its own, crewed correctly, could kill a level 37 uncommon. I didn't go any high. I didn't try the rares, and I certainly ain't wasting the epics. So I was actually happy with that. But obviously, using normal ships, you will not get the increased loot. You will literally just get the box standard base level um, loot for your sh your ship's strength. Now, using the Stella, obviously, you're going to gain extra points. Woohoo! We could always use some extra points. But as well, you also get the increased loot. So if you are going to go fight these things and you are not sure what ship to use, answer is simple. Stella, Stella, Stella. Yeah, get your Stella out. Doesn't matter what level it is. Get it out. Get it in with your alliance and go work on it. There is no alliance based event with this one, which is actually a surprise because obviously during the monthly, we did have an alliance based event. 
no more. No, there is no Alliance-based event. So, now looking at this one, obviously you're going to get um, 30 on the top line for the Rogue Trophies. So there's going to be 60 in here. I didn't quickly add up the last one, but hopefully you actually caught it and you'll know how many there is. But obviously the Rogues also changed to 180, so that's literally doubled each milestone. But the highest token is still going to be 100. So in total, you still now got potential of 200 of these highest tokens. But instead of it being once a month, it's now once a week. So now that's increasing depending on the month or what month we're on. Because bearing in mind, there are actually when you actually break the full year down, there are 13 weeks to three months. So you're gonna have a four. A four, so that's eight weeks, and then your last one's at five weeks. Hence the reason why we have that two week break every so often. So, which means some months you're only going to get um, 800 he heist tokens per month, and then on that odd month, once every three months, give or take, you're going to end up with a thousand of these, which is going to be a bonus. Now, how are they going to work? I don't know. We will show you that later in a video because what I'm going to do is I will keep recording the video, quickly smash out these events as fast as possible. But all that section, that complete section will be edited out and we will look at the event store. So let's get cracking on with the points section and then we'll go into the event store afterwards to show you what we've got and where we're going to spend it so i've already got two ships out in location i've got one for armadas already <clears throat> so we're going to get an armada running and i'm going to pick this uncommon here and we're going to start that as you can see i've got 47 uncommons available to me yeah they're going to get smashed out this in this 24 hours as best as i can possibly do it so we've got one started already and then obviously i've got my um, new my new baby Stella, which is literally level one. Yeah, it's tier one, level one. And as per usual, this system is absolutely heaving. Well, actually, it's not as bad as it is. It can be because sometimes this event, um, this um, system can be absolutely heaving during the actual events. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, do the show you the score for the killing of the actual scoring working let's get the closer one shall we so we can actually show you that points quickly and then i'll show you the points for the yamada scoring and then obviously i'm just going to keep going um and get this event done so there we go so we've got 10 million points for that kill so you can destroy obviously scoring as well um, Apex Hunter total 4110 points heavy hitter that's that's come around so i've got 101 million for that one and the Stellar's won. And obviously the Stellar would have gained some XP as well. So I will be sending it back at some point to actually um, go get upgraded. So here we go. As you can see, both all three events now have scored. I've got 5, po uh, 500 points for killing that level 37 um, Eclipse. So if we look in here, that's a rare Armada. That's not the one we want. So... Okay, right, so the 500 points is definitely going to be the um, spending of Eclipse Directives. So you're going to get five points each for that one. Um, obviously, you don't want that. Yeah, so five points each for that, uh, each directive. So that's 500 points right there. So th there's the first one. Um, if we can actually just get out without the screen dropping. Next up is the Hunter, obviously, destroying the Hostiles. You can see I've got 4,000 points. For taking on that level 37 and uh, it's level 39 sorry and if we actually have a look at the second from bottom it says 38 to 39 3770 well we're actually a little bit short there by how much 340 points bottom line 340 points added on top as well so now we can actually clearly see just that li literally just the two different point metric systems in this one event actually working together to give you a total points so and then the in the rogue obviously we spent the directive so i've got the 500 points there we go now quickly we will just jump on the outlaw officers i am going to go for the shards for an epic so that's going to be 450 points per shard 
Now, where are we going to find those shards? Well, it's simply for moving myself across. We've got the augment um, trees where you've got these two chests here. Obviously, you've got to tr you've got a chance of getting either Khan, who's hid there, or Marla and J uh, Jorkim in the far corner there. Um, <clears throat> so, obviously, you're going to get points for scoring in here. <coughs> I will say you will get the points and then also you got three rares in this particular chest as well so you got them and then if you go into the rogue you've also got the outlaw box where you've got two rares you got three epics so a bit more of a chance of getting a rare in that one but I wouldn't hold your breath usually I don't get many out of this whatsoever so if you don't have access to where I'm going next they are going to be your best two so, where am I going to go? Well, you, yep, you've guessed it. It's going to be the transporter patterns. Because we have a number of officers in the transporter patterns that will score towards it. And here they are. You've got these three here. Any one of these three officers will score you points in the event. And if we scroll across a little bit further... Khan as well. Khan Noonien Singh. Obviously, I don't need him because... He's already maxed out in number of shards. I just need to level him up. Uh, tear him up, sorry. So I'm going to go across here. And the one officer I'm working on at the minute for the row is actually Eurydice. Costing me 11,000 tokens. Never mind. So I'm going to put that in there. And we're going to skip. And oh, there we go. So we've got the 10 shards there. Here we go. Apex Exile Solar Leaderboard. Uh, the rogue total, 13, so 1,350 points for that one. So now what we'll do is we'll go back into the events. There you go, I'm a winner. So I've obviously done something. Uh, ro Apex rogue, so I've got that first milestone. So, why, why, oh, here we go. The event stores come up. Like I said, we're going to touch on that later. So here we go. The points are now shot up to 5,000 instead of 500 because obviously the 10 shards is actually um, give me the points I needed. So, that's the officer's scoring. Obviously, in the previous alliteration, you could actually use just literally 10 shards of those epic officers and you could nail this event in one go. And that was the first day. And then you was mining data. But if you've actually noticed, we're not mining data this time. No, they've taken that away, which is going to save players a lot of headaches. OPC data. So, actually not much need for the data now, except for your event store. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run off and I'm going to smash up a few more events, get these um, S these um, SMSs done, and then I'm going to come back and then we're going to add on to the end of this. Um, well, we'll go for the event store. Okay, so now they're finished and we have got everything that we can possibly get obviously i'm only up to 71 in there because i had um, a level 40 rare and a level 40 epic so cur courteously gra uh, granted to me by my alliance who actually ran them so big thank you to um my alliance admiral and alliance commodore as well for running them two respectively obviously only the rare finished <laughs> managed to help me finish the event so doing those amadas higher level matters will actually pay dividends because you'll be able to get them done. Now, the event store. Where are we going to go? Well, we're going to be scrolling through this. But first of all, I'm just going to quickly draw your attention to this little thing. Now, some of you saw this come up in the gift section. And went and bought it. Some, for those of you who were lucky enough to see it and didn't do it, well done. For those of us, unfortunately, yeah, yours truly included. We didn't actually get to see this. But um, Tiberius was kind enough to share a screenshot for me. Um, in the chat was um, was in about it in our CC's chat and um, obviously I looked at it and thought are you taking the proverbial piss nah 120,000 coins event store currency coins you better do better than that that's two rare solo Dominion Amadas so that's the Gemini ones Two standard, so that's the FKRs and the Cardia Marders. Two rares. One epic, that's a Cardi or an FKR. Two rare um, Eclipse Marders. Shh, 
You get them every four days. And half... Also, no, 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 it's not half. A full epic. You get them quite often. Solo is once every ten days. With your lions, as often as they can run them. Is this chest worth it? Not in my opinion. But that's my opinion. If you think this has got value for you, by all means, crack on. But again, don't do anything until we've seen what they're going to add to the event store. So, when that's going to happen, I do not know. I've not seen any changes in the above. So, let, let's have a quick look. Do, 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 do. Nope. So, definitely not nothing in there. Anything in the ships? Well, Mantis is a good one. D -d 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 nope. Nothing in there as well. So, nothing's been added yet. So, don't spend it unless you really want those armadas. The FKR ones, I will admit, that's probably the best way ones because obviously it's very rare that we, we're going to get them. So, anyway. Yes. The event store. Now, as it turns out, the graphics are not going to actually appear. So God only knows when that's actually going to come around. But luckily, it didn't actually take me long to complete there. Both of my Stellas ended up um, grinding after the Amadas, Amadas had finished. But that's fine. So, what have we ended up with? Well, so far, I've ended up with 200 um, heist tokens. Yes, I says 250. That's because while I was um, when I just joined my current alliance... Um, we didn't actually do very well on one of the monthly ones. So, unfortunately, I've got an odd 50 lying around. That's going to be very annoying. But anyway, and obviously the uh, Rogue Trophies. Again, around 19 credits. That's not too particularly too bad. So, where are we going to spend these things? Well, first of all, we're going to say is those Zeta tokens. Now, remember, they are being phased out. Where you're going to spend them is that Outlaw Ultra Chest or the Independent Credits. It does take a hundred. Yeah, sadly, now it's not. Now they're not being given out. I can't do this, and I've got 45 lying around, so that's going to be clogging up my inventory until the end of time. And then, obviously, the outlaw chest again, it's a hundred, two hundred, and five hundred. But again, this chest, yeah. Okay, I'm not even going to mention words, but they are very old. They are going. So they are probably going to disappear in 20 days' time. Yeah, that's how long you've got to use it all up. You've got 20 days, 21 days. So get spended. Maybe there'll be an old run of the Apex event. I do not know, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, obviously with the Apex as well, we had um, the parts for the G4 ships. For those of us looking to be in the 40s and higher. G5, I don't know if that's included for the G5 players. Touchwood, hopefully that has been added. If not, if you are a G5 player, please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, a quick reminder, like and subscribe as well. We'll throw them in there. So let's just have a quick look at the battleship parts. You're going to be looking at 400 parts and it's going to cost you 60 of the trophies. Is this valuable at current? On one hand, yes. On the other hand, no. For me personally, the answer is going to be no. Because... Unfortunately, I need to better spend those trophies on something else, which will be scrolling all the way back down here to this particular pack here. Now, as you can see, I'm going in 150 research medals. You need these for specific researches in your combat tree, in your station tree, and I think some in your outlaw tree as well. So, the better, to, in my personal opinion, they'll be better spent here getting these, and this is where I am actually going to spend that currency. Yes, I'm going to spend it live on stream so you can uh, live in the... Oh. Really? Really? <laughs> oh, my God. So, watch out for that. Because you can do one pull and then you've got to wait a whole week. Which is not a problem. Because then I'll be able to spend those 30 next week. But, oh, my God. Oh, what a drop. I was not expecting that. But anyway, um, next up as well, you can spend the trophies on if you really, really, really want to. It says limit two, so I'm guessing you're going to be able to pull two of these in a day. So we'll do something like that. Um, Crystal, so G3, G4. Um, if you're G3 player, you don't see the G4. I highly recommend you go for these. Get the uncommons. 
get them in because you are really going to need them. G4, you got a chance to get some G4 common and uncommon um, materials. The rays are also going to be good on as well for those high level 40 players. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do the um, quick pull here. So we're going to have that one and it kicked me out. So get one more. And that should be me done now. It should give me a timer for seven days. So that's it. That's now me spent up. Also, you're going to have one for the ore and power steel, one for the gas and dilithium. So bear that in mind. Now, here we go. Those heist tokens. This is what we used to spend them on is the officer badges and the um, loot credit, um, the faction credits as well. They haven't changed the value and what you're going to get out of these, but it is RNG based. So just bear that in mind. It's split across the board. The independent credits are actually the primary one that you ideally want out of here because they're still, despite everything, they are still a pain in the rear and it's still going to take you a while to save up all enough credits for all those officers that now fall under independent credits. And there is, remember, I did a video on that and there's still shit loads. And that was before the refinery updates in the Borg and obviously this update as well. Now, I'm not actually going to go here and spend on this particular one because I don't want to. But we've also got officer badges as well. Again, this this was a monthly thing. And again, the R is RNG based. Equal share across the board. Yes, that equals 99%. So there might be that 1% 1 chance you're not going to get anything. Yeah, okay, no, that doesn't actually happen. You will get a badge one way or another. They're not just going to take 100 tokens off you for sheer hell of it. Because Jesus Christ, they would have war. It won't be a warring game. It'll be a war at Scopely. But anyway, so yeah, so you will get one random badge. What that will be, unfortunately, that's down to you. We, um, we'll have a look at that in just a moment. Next up is where you could also spend your heist in this new contraband chips chest. This is basically a recruitment chest, which is also going to give you the advantage to gain these new contraband chips, which is also what you can get from the solo or leaderboard. Now, these contraband chips will be used towards the new skins that's been added which we will look at just shortly so you can you've got a chance here to get them so when you actually look at this you're going to get five officer shards of an uncommon or better um guaranteed so you've got a 50 percent chance of common and uncommon shards 40 percent chance of rare and only a 10 percent chance of an, an epic good luck now, contraband and ship XP guaranteed. Both of these, you're going to get three rolls of the dice. And obviously, with the contraband chips, the highest one at 3,000 chips, you've only got a 1% chance of getting it, but you've got a 90% chance of getting 500. Now, for those of you who remember the amalgam chest and the um, shard uh, rolls for Honor Guard Wharf, remember it's 91% chance for Wharf and and was it 0.1% chance for a full pull? Yeah, you kind of got this here. So you're pretty much near enough guaranteed, not completely, not completely guaranteed to get 500 each time. And also you got the um, ship XP as well, which is also going to be a nice little bonus. 50% chance of 900 um, XP, which is going to be good. And 20% of 2,500. Now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to start off my contraband chips. I'm not going to worry about the badges. Yes, I need the badges. Yes, I need them. And it would be absolutely wise of me to spend at least 100 credits on there. But that's down to your personal choice. And from next week, I will be spending at least 100 in there and 100 in here. But I'm going to kick off with showing some RNG here. So what we're going to get. So we've got three three rares. We've got uh, Row Mud, Pan and Rimmer. We've got 5,000 Officer XP. 4,400 ship XP. I didn't. I don't recall seeing officer XP in there. Also, oh, officer XP. That's going to be um, from the uncommons that I would have got in here. I've obviously got them maxed, so they've changed to officer XP. And I got 1,500 uh, chips, so which basically means I got the bottom one at 90% um, chance for per pull. So that's that one. Luckily, by looks of this, there's no limit on this. So again, I'm going to go in, spend another, and there we go. So yeah, now we've got three uncommons. Um, we've got a row, and I've got a common as well. Yay! One of the few rare common officers I've not actually got maxed yet. 
But anyway, but looking at that, oh, 2,500. So they have actually got the middle one, at least on one roll. And wait, what is the middle one on one roll? Oh. Scroll back and you'll find out. <laughs> but anyway, no, it looks like I've actually got a decent one there. So I've probably got two 500s and then I've got a 1500. So that's pretty good. So where are we going to sell them? Well, you can see the simulated stellar is actually lit up there with a number one. So you can go spend some credits in there. And all these, um, you've got the salvager skins for your G3 epics. And you've also got the um, hijack ships as well. Hijack ships, forget it. Don't even bother, look, I mean, we'll show you the price. We'll show you the price. They're on the contraband now. But just, no. No. You can get these in the Rogue Store. Is it the Rogue Store? Yeah, I think it's the Rogue Store. Oh, it's the Augment Store. One of the two. You, augment. You can get them in the Augment Store. And, yeah. But what are these ships worth? Besides spending more? Because you've got to put spend uranium on top of their materials and research, uh, resources you get nothing they're just as good as the original faction ones but the problem is you can't scrap them yeah you can't scrap them so the absolute the hijack ships are worth um jack to put it bluntly but again you might just want them for posterity that's entirely up to you now, I haven't got the Grand Opius Grande um, skin because obviously I already have that available. So I will be looking at the um, Stellar's, uh, simulated Stella skin. And as you can see, at the minute, I can potentially get two chests already. That's not really an awful lot. So I'm going to wait to see what happens with the SLB um, when that finishes tomorrow. And then obviously you've got your Salvager skins. Um, at the minute, I can get four shards towards it, one of them. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, how many shards do you need? You need 120, so you're looking at about 120,000 to actually get these. It's going to be a long, long ass grind. A long ass grind. I will tell you that straight out. Unless you can get the first place in the solar leaderboard, in which case you've got a, a pretty good chance. What, 120,000 divided by 30,000 is about four weeks. Give or it's, it's four weeks. So, yeah. I mean, eventually you will be able to get all these, eventually, but yeah. And it's the same with the assimilated skin. It's going to take you a long time, 15,000 for 10 chests. Again, you need 120 credits, so you'll, um, 150,000, 180,000 credits. 180,000 credits. That's six weeks scoring perfectly on the SLB. Six weeks. So, is it worth going through here to get the assimilated skin? You could do. You could do. Or you could actually just buy it, get it from the event store if we end up with enough currency for that. But if we don't, do not worry. There is a grindable path, even if it's going to take you something like two and a half years or five years or whatever to get it. You'll still get it eventually. But anyway, that's the event store. That is a new Apex event. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you think that this is going to be, this is a good change? Me, it looks pretty reasonable. It's nice to have it on a weekly basis. If anything, for these research medals and bloody give me the bloody graphic. But anyway, that's the way it is. Anyway, I better run as you saw. My battery is at 10%. I need to charge up so I can edit this video. Yay. But anyway. Thank you for joining me on this um, tour of the new Apex event. If you'd like to donate to the channel, obviously I do have the link to PayPal in the channel's description. Um, there is also the link as well for my Discord channel if you'd like to come and join the Discord. Other than that, don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you have not already. Until then, I'm Admiral Pegasus. This is the Pegasus Show saying stay safe, live long and prosper. And I'll catch you on the next video. Goodbye.